Hi, my name is Pat Gillette, and I'm a counselor and yoga teacher, and I'm going to teach you something called tapas acupressure technique. And we're going to use this technique on the issue of fear of, of abandonment, but it can be used on almost any feeling, thought, painful thought, painful feeling, difficult behavior you want to let go of, performance issues, school, sports, work performance, sexual performance, or physical symptom, like a headache or a stomach ache. Um, so it was created by a woman named Tapas Fleming. Um, and it starts with a dedication. So if you're comfortable, um, repeat the dedication, put both hands on your heart and repeat the dedication with me. I dedicate this work for the benefit of all my ancestors, all of my family, all parts of me and all points of view I have ever had and anyone else who might gain benefit from it. And then we're gonna do a series of eight phrases and you can use either the top one or the bottom one. Um, you might need to take all your glasses. So the, the posture is you take your thumb and your ring finger and gently hold the bridge of your nose where your glasses would sit and two fingers on your forehead your baby finger relaxes, and then your other hand on the back of your head. So your thumb is about where your head meets your neck. So repeat with me either phrase, everything that led up to my fear of abandonment happened, it's over, and I'm okay now. And just hold that for a minute. I'm going to time it. You can do a minute and a half if you want. So you can pause the video and do it a little bit longer if you prefer, or you can do it shorter, but it should be at least 30 seconds. So just hold that for a minute. And um, I yawn when my energy changes. So sometimes that's a sign. Just hold that for another minute and then take a deep breath and let it go. If you want, you can shake out your hands. I find that helps. That's not part of the technique, but I like to do it. <laughs> take another deep breath and let it go. And now take the posture again. You can switch hands if you want and repeat this one with me. Thank you for healing all the places in my mind, body, and life where this fear of, of abandonment has been stored and healing the deepest origins of this problem. And hold that for a minute. And take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. Take another deep breath and let it go. And now step three, take the posture again. I apologize to everyone I have hurt related to this fear of abandonment, including myself. I wish us all love, happiness, and peace. And hold that for a minute.
With this technique, don't try to manage or direct your thinking. Just let your mind wander wherever it goes. And you can be rebelling against any of these phrases or whatever. All right, take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. There are eight steps, so this is number four. So if you don't feel comfortable forgiving everyone, <laughs> Or if you want to forgive everyone except certain people, you can just say that. Or you can use the second phrase, um, but I'm going to use the first one. I forgive everyone that hurt me or that I blamed related to this fear of abandonment, including myself. I wish us all love, happiness, and peace. And hold that. And take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. And now step five, take the posture again. All the parts of me that got some benefit from this fear of abandonment are healing and hold that. And take a deep breath and let it go. And shake out your hands. And the next one, step six. Take the posture again. Whatever is left about this fear of abandonment is healing now and hold that. And take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. Take another deep breath and let it go. And here you can substitute your own phrase, your own positive phrase of what you'd rather feel or think instead of fearing abandonment. So let's try, 
I am worthy, I am strong, and I will be okay. And hold that. Or make up your own phrase. And take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. Last one. And if you don't feel comfortable saying thank you, if that like, like feels too spiritual or weird for you, you can just say thank you to my subconscious mind. You know, we have inside us deep wisdom and deep healing. So it's not necessarily a spiritual thing when you say thank you. Um, but uh, you can just say, I intend to completely integrate this healing now or something else. You always feel free to change the words according to what you want. Okay, so let's do the last one in your own words. Thank you for completely integrating this healing now. And take a deep breath and let it go. Shake out your hands. Great. So that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. So my name is Pat Gillette, and I'm a social worker in Wasaga Beach, Ontario, Canada. And um, that's my information. Oh, I should add my email address. My email address right now is pattyg123.0 at gmail.com. So that's P-A-T-T-I, G as in George, one, two, three, number one, number two, number three, dot zero, also a numeral, at gmail.com. All right, talk to you soon.